What do you want to say to Bud? Me and Pop. Uh, Indiana Jones, Alaska. He's been friend to all of us. Bud and Bud won wins. He was a good director. Bud, you're a wonderful friend and appreciate you. Azabo. Well, I love him. I met him. You love him? You come out again. Taku. Taku. Bud, you've been a strong leader for this community. Keep exercising, keep doing what you have to. He's a good guy. Very nice and very, very uh, helpful. Thank you. I have to say he is nice and he is thoughtful for everything and I love him and he is sweet and kind. He take me to kill him. He also take me to him now too. He's a nice person and I'm going to miss you very much. Joyce seeing him up here and I like it when he came and saw my beautiful artwork and I, um, I'm glad to get to know him for a long time and I hope you have a blessed retirement day. I miss you, bud. I wish you were back visiting us. I hope you have a good life. We'll miss you. And we'll always think about you and pray for you and your family. I am going to miss him. And he's really special to me. I'm probably because he's my buddy. What would you like to say to Bud? <laughs> hey, um, uh, hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. A bay. And, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, fine. That's it. Well, Bud, I will miss you always. I'll be thinking about you. Hope your retirement comes true. That's his daddy. I love him. That's right. So, uh, I think that's what I'll say. If I love Bassy's daddy, oh, Bassy is good. He's a good guy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. He's always a great son. I love his sense of humor. Bud is a great, great guy. Hey, Bud. Just want to tell you, you're funny and always give me good hugs and stuff. Mommy. See you. I want to say it, Bud. If you're tired, just do anything you feel like doing. If you just want to ride a horse and just keep on riding till you can't ride anymore. Hey, buddy. I love you. I love you. Long way I But I meet up here. Need to find. We're going to miss you. He is really nice. He's going to be home with his family and with his grandbabies and hope he has a good time being with them. And he's great at helping us with bells. And, you know, we're going to miss him a lot. Um, happy face. Happy face? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for trusting the staff. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I've really enjoyed getting to know you and being your friend. And uh, I hope that, I mean, I know that we'll continue to see each other for years, hopefully. So uh, anyway, just thanks for everything. I think I would like to tell Bud that it's been great working with you. You have a huge heart for our Seedsters and their families. I think that's much appreciated by everyone. Um, and I would say we're going to miss you, but I know that we're going to see you because you're super close by. Um, so I look forward to everything that the future holds for you and uh, for the
the mustard seed. You are one of the sweetest, kindest men I've ever met in my life. And that is a fact. <laughs> Not just saying that because I'm on video. You really are. You have such a tender heart and you are a good guy. And I love having you up here, bud. I like to say to bud, I haven't known you as long as some of the staff, um, but I know that you're a really good guy and I know that you love the Lord and you always bring a smile to our face. So we definitely are going to miss you at the Mustard Seed, uh, but we know great things are ahead for you. Well, Bud, thank you so much for all your years of uh, help and support around here. You've always been a blessing to us. And... I hate to see you go, but yet that I'm excited for you. But uh, I always know that, you know, Mustard Seed's in good hands when I know you're just down the road. Good luck. Good. To Bud Brightly, he's been a... Uh, a good mentor, a good leader, and a great sense of humor, and it's really been a joy to have his leadership. So I would just say, if you ever ask himself if he did a good job, I would be on board to say he has done a great job. Do you have any retirement advice for Bud? Okay. For Bud, what? Uh, paint. Paint? Yep. <laughs> Tire, don't tire too young. I'm gonna miss him very much. Have fun. <laughs> when you retire, keep hobbies going. So you're not just sitting around doing nothing. Have fun and enjoy life. Yeah. Have it. That, I guess that means I'll miss you very, very well. Wish. well Enjoy the time and sit back and relax. Drink his coffee and I'll just remember all that. Take it easy. Have fun with your family. And don't worry about anything. Right. I'd say good luck with it. Have fun. You luck. Is him if he wants to sit in the rock or watch his favorite show then don't have anybody don't have anybody change the channels and just let them sit and eat eat popcorn and just and just let him watch his favorite tv shows with the remote but have a great time and you know you know we're gonna miss him a lot have a lot of free time i i i go to him sometimes with this mild, I might encourage him. But he did a good job, and I'm proud of him. In retirement, go to the beach, enjoy it, be in the sunshine. If you think about the word retire, uh, it, it literally means that you were tired and you became tired again. Uh, you were retired. So I would advise you to get some sleep. Our advice would be to enjoy this time in your life. Um, travel, go see those grandkids, um, just enjoy spending time with Mary and Rebecca and your family, and hopefully come by and visit us every now and then. We'd love to see you. But I have a little bit of advice for your retirement. I think there's a few things you could do. Uh, you could open up your own restaurant. You could eat whatever food you wanted, and it really seems pretty simple. I think that you could uh, join a whale rescue activist group, because whales have rights too. I think that you should grow your own pumpkin patch, because that would come real in handy during Halloween. <laughs> um, I think by that gymnastics might be out of the question, might. But I think that you and Mary could do yoga together. And if you got real brave, you could become a yoga instructor. Stranger things have happened. I think also, Bud, that um, believe it or not, there is a hobby. It's called hedgehog racing. You and Mary could get some hedgehogs and race them. But I have really enjoyed working with you and I hope you have a wonderful time with your family. We will miss you greatly. But I would say you need to go fishing and you need to go to the beach and you need to take Mary out on a lot of dates because girls like that, take her somewhere nice. Um, 
my advice, bud, would just be to uh, take it easy, write your memoirs, um, come visit us as often as you can. Um, it's good to know that you'll still be around uh, with Rebecca being involved in our program. So it's not really saying goodbye, but I uh, hope you just enjoy the, the time you have with your family and make the most of it. Bud, my advice for you after retirement is three things. Listen to Mary. That's it. My advice, Bud, is enjoy your grandkids and enjoy the beach. So, Bud, for retirement advice I've had, my suggestion is to enjoy it. Enjoy it immensely because you and I both know how precious those grandchildren are and how quickly it happens. But on the back side, don't let them kill you. Don't let them kill you. Learn to say no. And then you and Mary go off and have some fun. Retirement advice for Bud. In your retirement, I would say just when you have time, take the duct tape off of that, that mirror on the, on the left side and replace it with a good one so that you can drive safe. That's my advice. My favorite memory is when I came 10 years ago and he welcomed me here. He's a good friend to all of us. He helped us out a lot with the belly. I remember Bud about before I came. I knew Bud and Bad Guy came here about 25 years. For, for being in the, the top. For being in the top to do record. Well, I'll send her pain. He'd come in and ask me how I was doing. And he'd look at my work and comment on how pretty it was. I that. My favorite memory um, helping me went with Janet when my foot was hurting. Uh, Bud, I've known you for 14 years of my life when I first started Master Seed. You've been always been a good friend. He's good at the office. Hmm? He's good director. And he's, he's nice. And he is a good friend. Yes, maybe he'll have a good time. He's a good friend. I like him. Okay. And we're going to miss him this year. He likes to help the bells. <laughs> uh, he's been a hard dog. And um, he is and he is doing his good job. And his great staff. Happy. Favorite, my favorite memory of Bud is him just dropping in and him, him saying hello to everybody. Uh, he is a Mississippi State fan, and so is uh, my cousin. And uh, I, uh, we're, we're going to miss him. My baby with Bud Red. Uh, um, everything. Is there something fun you like that you do with Bud? Yeah. Miss Kids best one. Sauces. My favorite memory of Bud is the man can work a crowd. He'll talk to anybody that comes in the gift shop and tell them all about the mustard seed and the years of strength that this place has had. Several favorite memories of Bud of you. Uh, one of them is the fact that in all the building that took place while you were here, you uh, you made sure to save as many trees as you could and, and just maintain a beautiful campus. You know, that's something that we've talked about before. It's really, uh, I really enjoyed that part of your heart, just wanting things to be beautiful and look good and save the trees. <laughs> um, and I've always enjoyed just in general how uh, I said it in the little note I sent you, but you really do have a heart that that uh, embraces the whole world and makes him your buddy. You know, you're just the, the ultimate buddy. Um, anyway, I know that's weird coming from me, but I appreciate you. Uh, my other favorite memory <clears throat> is when I was sitting in Elizabeth's office and uh, I had long hair and my beard was bushy and I had my little uh, sandals on and you just looked me up and down and said, you were born 2,000 years too late, weren't you? <laughs> I still laugh about that. Anyway, uh, thanks for 
Thanks for everything. I think my favorite memory of Bud is when he was our Grand Marshal for our Mardi Gras parade. And he wore his top hat and he waved everybody. That pink jacket and the sparkles, that was my favorite. My favorite memory of Bud is, and it's not work related, but it's just what first comes to mind is when one day the uh, grandkids came up and his face lit up so much. He was so excited to see them. And likewise, they were so excited to see him. And he held his arms out and they ran up to him and just jumped in his arms. They were so excited to see their bubby. And you're just such a great grandfather, Bud. Um, it's, it's just really fun to see you when you're around your grandkids. My favorite memory of Bud um, is when you come back from the beach, which you have done twice since I've been here. You always wear these khakis and like this Jimmy Buffett shirt. And you're just really, really tan, and I don't know, it's just like you're beaching on your mind, and it's funny. It would have to be, uh, actually before he became executive director, me and him up under the old office building, pulling out the possum out from under the old office, that stinky dead possum that we pulled out. Well, I think my favorite memories of Bud are, nobody gets it, what it's like when your child lives here. And Bud and I have had great talks about being a parent of a special needs child, and I'm gonna miss it, because uh, it's a good children. So anyway, bud, good luck to you. Let's see. My favorite memory of bud is an embarrassing memory, but a good one. I uh, was taking a big truck to the camp flea market and I brought it back and it was a long day, exhausted, and long story short, ran into the building and was really, really just racked up over it, thinking this is it, I've lost my job. But I called Bud, and he just he just laughed and said, "That's what insurance is for," which really put my mind at ease. And the building was fixed, and you know, and most people have forgotten that, but I have never forgotten that how generous he was in his response.